Hey, welcome to Airstream of South Florida here in sunny Fort Myers. We're uh, gonna take a look, Sherry, this morning at the Airstream 30-foot Classic. We're gonna walk around a little bit. We're not gonna get into great detail, but I did want you to see the floor plan and some of the features. So let's get started. Uh, up front here, we've got the iconic wraparound rock guards that you see on all the windows of the Airstreams. Uh, those are, Lexan, they're very tough. Uh, we've got the stainless rock guards. All of these swing open for cleaning. The center one flips up and doubles as a window awning once you get to your destination. Uh, right here, I've got the main awning out partway. As you can see, I couldn't get it out all the way because I'm near a utility pole back here, but I did want you to see it. Uh, it's a nice uh, power awning. I'm gonna go ahead and retract it just so you can see how easily it works. Just a matter of push of a button. And once the, unit, once the awning is out, you can also lower one end or the other uh, so that uh, you don't have water pooling in a light rain and that kind of thing. So uh, continuing on around, we've got, uh, this side's pretty clean. We've got our 110 outlet here. Uh, this would be our stabilizer jacks uh, controls. The, uh, of course, tandem axle 16 inch wheels with Michelin tires. Uh, moving on around, we've got window awnings all the way around. So we've got a nice little window awning back here. Just helps keep things shaded. This rolls up, tucks in. We've got lots of storage. You were asking about outside storage. We have a lot of storage here in the rear bumper. This is what we call wet storage. This is where you can keep wheel chocks and things like that. Uh, the moisture uh, won't be a problem with. But then there's a lot of inside storage here as well. And if you take a look in here, you'll see this is pretty big and pretty deep. Uh, I was talking about a place you could put uh, zero gravity chairs, things like that. Uh, this would be it. And there is a light in here as well. You turn on. Um, and then there's a little bit of a basement here as well. There's storage down below. So there's quite a bit of space in there. Put this back. Moving on around. We've got window awnings all the way around. So here's, uh, here's another one for this window. We've got these big ones here. Those are really nice to help keep it uh, nice and cool. Here's your, uh, your water connections and things like that are in there. Potable water fill refrigerator vent. Here's your shore power connection. This would be for cable or satellite TV. And here's your outdoor shower. You mentioned the dogs. You want to give the dogs a bath. It's a great place to do it. This is just a vent for the Aldi system, which is the heat in here. It's the radiated heat we talked about. And that's just a vent. Nothing you need to, need to worry about. Just want you to know it's there. Our dump station is right back here behind the rear wheel. That's where the uh, black and gray tanks are dumped. And uh, you've had a lot, of, uh, a lot of RVs before, so you know what that's all about. This is another storage tube for an extra sewer hose. Moving on around, we've got our rock guards again. We've got dual 40 pound aluminum propane tanks right here. And there are gauges on them. They are metered and the gauge is displayed the levels are displayed inside. So lots of propane on board. This has solar, so it also has dual lifeline glass mat batteries. Your spare tires up underneath in the front here, you drop a lever, it slides out very easily. And here's your power tongue jack. So that's a quick look at the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Okay, Sherry, here we are inside, uh, sitting on the uh, awesome villa furniture with the incliner built in, as you can see. Uh, very, very comfortable. We've got a fold down little table here in the middle. It's a place to put your drinks and snacks, recliner on the other end. Since we have radiated heat, you'll note there's, there's, it's all around the outside walls, which is really nice. It's just like the same concept of having heat in front of the windows in a home. It just keeps everything nice and cozy, nice and warm. The, uh, the lighting in here is all LED. It is in all Airstreams, but the Classic has special lighting. And we can control all of it uh, from a main panel here that uh, allows us to uh, control pretty much everything in the coach. But one thing I wanted to show you specifically, Sherry, is this area right here. 
we were talking about a place for dog beds and so on and this is what i envisioned right here in this open area if we can get a shot of that floor area right there a uh, lot of open floor space there so i thought that might uh, might help you the dinette here does make a bed the table is power as you can see we have corian countertops in here and tabletops so I press a button that goes down and the cushions go on there to make the, make the bed. Uh, we have uh, lots of storage in here and you can see they use, they use great hardware. It's all first class. This is the cognac maple finish. It's also available with a mocha cherry. Uh, in here, you'll notice that we have Blu-ray player. And right here beside the cabinet, we have a couple of things. This is our Poke audio system right here. There's also a, a remote panel for that in the bedroom. This is the panel uh, for the Firefly that controls pretty much everything in the coach. We can see that we have a light master. We have temperatures for front and rear. Here's our tank levels, our propane levels, water pump, tank heaters, house battery level, inverter. Uh, here we have a master panel for lighting. Uh, here we have a master panel for climate control, front and rear. Uh, here we can control the roof vent fans, the bath fans, all that kind of thing. And here we have awning open and close, front and rear tilt, the dinette table up and down. And then here's our settings. We can change from Fahrenheit to centigrade. We can change the screen brightness, change the floor plan. We can set on auto dimming. There's also a nice cleaning mode. If you've ever tried to clean the LCD screen in your car, as soon as you touch it to wipe it off, it does something. So with that cleaning mode, uh, it deactivates the screen. As soon as I want to come out of the cleaning mode, I hit one of the icons and I'm back to, uh, to operational. This is the control for the Aldi system, uh, which is the heat system and, and the hot water, and uh, does a, an awesome job in here. It's very quiet, very comfortable, uh, gives you a great supply of hot water. Turn that back off. Um, two televisions, we've got this one here. This swings out. So uh, you can change the angle for viewing. And while we're here, let's talk about these blinds. We have some great blinds in here. We have, we have the day shades, which just give you uh, some privacy, but still let light in. And then we also have the night shades, which are full blackout. So you can actually be in here uh, during the day <laughs> and uh, you can sleep late if you want because the light will not bother you. Um, nice big refrigerator, freezer, runs on uh, propane or electric. We have a great pantry here. These are all adjustable, of course. And then we have some storage up here, a little spice rack. You see in there. And uh, over here, we have a nice big wardrobe. And there's a lot of goodies in there. There's part of the cushions in there, uh, an awning tool, a stabilizer, emergency crank, some things like that, an Airstream goodie box. There's a shelf that goes in the bottom of the sink up there. We're gonna look at that in a moment. And uh, the sink covers that are Corian and match. And you'll notice that's cedar lined. It's got automatic lighting in it, that kind of thing. Uh, we have uh, a privacy curtain here that comes across. So you can close off the bathroom and the bedroom. And then we also have one further back that allows us to close off just the bedroom. Here we have the shower. Nice size shower. Again, a heated shower floor. The shower and the bathroom both have a vent fan in the ceiling to keep uh, humidity down. Moving on back here is the master bed room. This is a queen bed. As you can see, it does sit up. And we have some controls for that. I can actually set that bed up or down from that main panel I was showing you a while ago. But there also is a remote panel right here over the bed so that you can uh, raise it and lower it. And I don't know if I can see with my bifocals well enough, but there it is. You can see it go down or up. It'll go clear flat or you can sit up. Makes it very, very comfortable. There we go. Nice little uh, in, uh, nightstands on each side with a, a drawer and a little cabinet door. <clears throat> Here we have another television. Again, this one pulls out and swivels around. 
This is the remote for the Poke audio system, so you can control it from back here. Here is another remote panel. And by the way, I failed to mention the remote panel over the bed. You're looking at it under the cabinet there as you're laying in bed. Not only can you raise and lower the bed, you can control all the lights in the coach, that kind of thing. So you can actually just jump in bed and then hit the light switch and shut everything off, turn everything on, uh, that kind of thing. But uh, here we have a master switch again uh, for lighting, shower, bed accent, ceiling lights, reading lights, that kind of thing. Um, coming back around this way, by the way, you got to love these, these windows. There's so many windows back here. Just makes it feel so nice and open. You've got, the, again, the iconic wraparound windows that we talked about outside. You've got those in the front as well. These two big windows on the sides. Uh, I've got the accent lighting up above. I can turn that off independently or I can dim it. I can dim any of these lights. A couple of speakers built in here for the sound system into the cabinets. And here we have the bathroom. Again, Korean countertops, nice porcelain commode, another remote uh, panel in there you can see on the wall that allows you to control things that are regional and specific to the bathroom. All air conditioning in this unit is ducted. All air conditioning in this unit is ducted through the ceiling. So uh, it makes it very efficient, very nice and cool. Up here in the galley, we have our propane powered cooktop and we can have a gas oven in here as well. In this particular unit we opted to delete the gas oven so you could have two more drawers and uh, that's just a personal preference. We have a convection microwave here, lots of storage, there's some drawers down here as well, there's your silverware tray. Nice little place for the uh, waste can. And again, we have matching Corian countertop sink covers here. And there is a grid that goes down on the bottom here if you want to put things in there for drying. Comes with it. You'll notice the gap along the back here. And you'll see that along uh, the different areas in the coach. And that, again, is because of the radiated heat coming up along the walls everywhere. Just makes it very, very nice, very comfortable. Here we have the control panel for the solar on the roof. Got a nice range hood. So there you have it. That's the 30-foot Classic. There's another panel, by the way, right here by the door. That's the 30-foot Classic. So take a look at it, Sherry. Tell me what you think. Give me a call anytime at 937-725-2433. You can email me at bruce.miller.com at northtrailrv.com. Have a great day.